Well, welcome on back, fishing freaks. Early morning right now, heading to the lake. I had to take a pause for a minute to go up to the Great Lakes and do my annual Great Northern Dangle. Had to go get the smallmouth vibes on. Hit it perfectly during the 100 degree weather streak of Texas and I was sitting in like 60s. But now I'm back in the Great Lone Star State. It is hotter than Hades, but I'm heading to the lake to run a trot line. And this is the one I built a few weeks ago, so I'm excited to see how it holds up. And I have a few different bait options besides live shad. We're gonna attempt to get live shad in the cast net, but I'm terrible at throwing a cast net, by the way. Uh, yeah. Just so, so bad at it. So I have some shrimp and I have some bagged shad from Walmart. So those are the two things that we are gonna try out on this trot line today. Crispy is off and running. Now we got a big problem though. The gas station was closed this morning. So no ice. No water. Rolling just straight, hot, and dry. So I, I don't know how long it would have lasted out here. Let's go try to catch some kitty cats. I'm gonna keep trying this until it works. Yeah, buddy. We have arrived at our spot. So this is what I'm thinking here. This is a the, the mouth of a, um, a creek arm. And summertime, pretty much all fish will want access to deep water. So this is right where I am. I'm, I'm right where they have deep water access. And it's, it's early morning right now, so they could be up shallow feeding. I, I don't really know. I don't do this enough to know. I'm gonna run this sort of across this uh, this cove or this creek arm. We've got all of our hooks kind of scattered around the side of this bucket. Um, I've got I've got my tape that I've got my uh, you know name and everything written down uh, for the gear tag regulations. We've got our bagged shad. This is incredible. This has been in my boat while I've been in Wisconsin and Michigan for the last two weeks hasn't changed a bit. It's the same as I bought it in Walmart, which is just nuts to me. I do have some old stinkeroo catfish baits. Those don't really stick on the hook. Couple over the side for good luck. Got a knife, obviously, for cutting up bait. Uh, my two weights that I'm gonna be using, that I just made out of a, you know, some wire and some concrete, a couple of solo cups. And there goes a Guggen Green bass cat right into the cove. It's always interesting when I sit in my uh, crispy collector because the, the other bass fishermen don't really pay attention to you. You know, when I'm in the silver bullet, you got you got the double poles sitting there, you know, brand new sparkly glitter sled. Everybody's looking at you. What's he doing? What, what's, I wonder if they're over here. You think Shad are over here? You think they're up? Blah, 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 blah. Oh man, they, he's out deep. Maybe they're out deep. I don't know. I, I feel like bass fishermen always look at each other. There's the glitter sled effect. When you're in that crispy baby, you're low profile. You're sliding in there sly. So I have all the, the hooks on the bank line that I've made. For some reason, I feel like I'm missing a lot. There's one in my arm, apparently. And of course, I'm gonna try to not tangle all this up. But then of course we have uh, the trot line and the final component are the the floats uh, the buoy so i have this float right here simple you know i got this at walmart as well just a simple float that i put some bank line on i have another one of those uh, this one i like the way i rig it up i've got this little strap on here just to keep everything together nice and neat if you run these trot lines and jugs you'll learn that you know neatness and organization becomes key this one i've got sort of a camping gear attachment uh, that I've added. You know, this is basically for tightening ropes, uh, attaching, you know, 
toggle type things to um, camp style gear. So this this actually allows me to tighten up, uh, adjust the di the distance of that weight to the bottom, so I don't have a bunch of extra line hanging out. All right, so we'll slap our gear tag on here, and we are good to go. I'll drop this buoy down. See if it even makes it. Okay, definitely hits the bottom. And I'm gonna go about an arm's length for me, about a double arm's length right there. A little loop here in the line. Then we'll attach one of these snap swivels. All right, so we'll attach that. One thing I feel compelled to tell you guys about doing this, if you're doing something like this, have a knife close by. It could save, save your life. You know, one of these hooks gets in your hand, line gets caught in the prop, prop spinning, it, you know, it's taking you in to the motor or taking you overboard. I have, a knife. I have a pocket knife on me almost always. I have a belt knife I haven't put on yet, but I'm going to once I start putting the hooks on. I've got a fillet knife right here, but have when you're doing this, have some a knife on your body, on your person. Usually don't take my nice camp knives out here. They get kind of nasty. Let's start this process over again. So we're gonna to toss this in. had a uh, white bass come up and hit next to the boat. I think I don't have a spoon handy. Oh, I don't think they want to play ball. Get distracted. Get distracted with the white bass. Right. Okay, so we're gonna actually gonna start the, the baiting process. Dad, you got my drift is just a little fast. Modification next time, I'm definitely doing quick snaps to the swivels on this. So much easier. I think I'm gonna start adding my shrimps. Shrimps are stinky. They look very nice. Who doesn't want a good shrimpy, huh? Come on now. Nice soft shrimp cocktail. A hot summer's morning. Did an arm's length for the trot line at the bottom so it's not like the trot line is right under the surface and it's not like there's a lot of uh, loose line around uh, the buoys that uh, a boat could run across I mean obviously if they hit the buoy itself then yeah it's screwed but there's there's not any like excess line or just line under the surface that uh, they're gonna be able to hit also I know you guys are staring at the, the beautiful threads here if you have a if you haven't made it out yet, what that actually is. Emmy actually pointed this out to me last night, and not many people have, have looked at it and really seen this, just kind of in passing. But it is a largemouth bass eating a filthy frog. So if you look closely, pretty awesome. Part of the new summer collection. All right, while I'm sitting here, I'm gonna rig up a couple more lines. So I've got these just, you know, standard cheapo catfish jugs. And I'm gonna make some lines about 10 feet long, and I'm just gonna place them on the inside of the cove. And we'll go ahead and load that up with a shrimp or two. Big fat shrimpy. And we'll just toss this guy overboard. That one's pretty much perfect. Then we'll go to another spot, do the same thing. Bombs away. Hey, honey. Good morning. Good morning. Day. Well, yes, that's right. It is Father's Day. Uh, hey, I was wondering if you're up and about. I've got my uh, trot lines set. Uh, I was wondering if I could get a, a pickup and then maybe get 
get some breakfast, and then I'll come back out here and I'll I'll check them after that. Sure, we can do that. Well, uh, I guess we'll come down in about 15 minutes. 15? Okay. All right. Got me a family pickup. All's good. All right, man. Take us home. <laughs> here we go. He's gonna drive it. You got it, Ben. Can you steer it? Morning pickup with the fam. Little little baby Ben. <laughs> Getting his cart time in. Hey, my mom saw you mow the oh. grass last night. She saw you. She saw me mowing the grass last night? Uh, I was mowing the, the grass. grass last night. Just thinking some hash browns. Eggs. Eggs and hash browns. Yeah. Yes. Sounds good, doesn't it, Emmy? She says she wanted some um, jelly toast. I want some jelly toast too. She said, when I get back, I'm going to tell you what else I want. So, okay. While they're getting breakfast ready up there, let's do a chicken check. How we doing this morning? How we doing, Colonel? Where's your girlfriend? It's really his girlfriend. Mr. Penny, where's your girlfriend? Is she in the nesting box? Is she going to lay us a tasty egg? Maybe for this morning's breakfast. Here you are. So I still haven't gotten her to lay in the nesting box. Unfortunately, I keep putting that golf ball in there. It's not working. And on the chicks, I've started to raise their uh, their little canopy up here. It's really hot during the middle of the day. I don't want them to get direct sun. But I raise it up in the mornings, kind of half the day basically, so they can start seeing the other chickens and the chickens can see them and you know they're definitely going to get picked on they're definitely going to get pecked as soon as they let them come out of here they're just not quite big enough yet a couple of them are getting there okay it is father's day and emmy got me this super cool fish mug that looks like a bass <laughs> didn't you emmy you found that huh yeah, I did. That's perfect for Daddy's morning espresso. Just stuffed myself hash browns, fresh eggs from the Rackley Roost, you know, a fresh espresso out of my bass mug. Man, I feel like the luckiest guy on earth. Just got a fantastic family. It's been a great morning, so I'm going to feed the chickens, head back out to the water, check the lines, hopefully we got some. Oh. Loading up again. Oh, man. I got my camera. You got your camera too? I didn't know I was being a chauffeur today. You never know. Yeah, I never know when You'll I wake up in the You never know with me. You never know when you're going to get those 8 a.m. phone calls. I took a picture. You got a picture of it? Uh-huh. I did too. Lizard hugs. Cool. Back to the crisp. The lake is nice and calm now. Beautiful. The boat traffic isn't too bad yet, so that's good. I see a few inner tubers. It's a good time to check these lines and then head in. I'm going to start with the two jugs that we set out at the very end. Bait was taken. Nothing on there. I got a feeling that's going to be a big problem with the shrimps. Another bait taken with no fish. Circle hook too, man. Did not get him. Now for the main event, the big trot line. Still seeing some bait on here. So we got a lot that haven't been touched. I have one that's pretty twisted up and lost the bait, so I bet that one had a fish on it. This one definitely had a fish on it. There's there's catfish goo on there and it's twisted. We just lost the fish on that J hook. So that one was it did take the shrimp. Well, we're almost all the way through the lines. Nobody home. Oh man, what to do different? I'm, I'm hoping for some good comments here. How I screwed up. 
Man, I thought 25 lines out of the base of a cove would be the program. Maybe I should have let him sit, like, overnight. Not long enough, maybe. But in my experience running jugs, it happens pretty quick. Scent gets out there. White bass schooling behind me. Unbelievable. Here, eat this. God, dude, this is what I need to have Emmy out here doing right now. It's way too hot. But one of these evenings, we're going to get after it. What's going on in here? She decided that she wanted to make a bed. Well, guess what? What's happening? What'd you get? No What's catfish. Happening? No. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Did and you go right in after I'm, a catfish? Do you what? Did you no go in catfish? after it? No. No catfish. And then when I was pulling in the catfish lines, a bunch of white bass popped up. And I thought, Emmy, I was like, I should call Stephanie right now and get Emmy down here with her Moana pole. Yeah. And get those schooling fish, but I was like, man, by the time they get here, they might be done. And I don't have a fish finder. But one day soon, Emmy, we're taking you out for the white bass rodeo. Will you be my taste tester? Who's gonna be my taste tester? You or you? Uh me. First lick. Mm, fresh, very creamy. Sweetness, is it like okay? It. Sweetness is okay. Ooh. And Emmy. hey. What do we say about dermies? Well, y'all, no luck with the kitty cats. I wish I had some in, in the fridge right now. They are delicious. I guess I'm just gonna have to uh, keep trying. Next few days, I'm gonna be out on the water. On these slick, calm days, I'm gonna get out on the brush piles with my new Doppler unit. And I'm going to be finding them and grinding them, baby. And I'm talking about them crappie and any bass that get in my way. So stay tuned for that. We're going to uh, fill the box with those babies. Can't wait to show you guys uh, the new trolling motor and the uh, Doppler system. So I'm going to head over to LFD's right now. Tell him Happy Father's Day and eat some delicious walleye with the fam. I hope you guys had a great Father's Day as well. Smash that like button for outdoor family. And I will see you guys on the next one. God bless you guys. Peace.